When Christ issued his first warning about the time of the end, all Christians were asleep. Christ sent a warning. The rider on the white horse rode out as a conqueror in the U.S. War on Terror. Christ's first warning came when all Christians were asleep. Christ opened the first seal. There was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror, bent on conquest, in the U.S. War on Terror. This is the first sign of the time of the end. Christ's first warning was about a white horse and its rider. The first seal, horse and rider, was George W. Bush in the U.S. military, but all Christians were asleep. I warned thousands of pastors since 9-11, but they were all asleep. Apparently, they're convinced there's a pre-tribulation rapture. There's not. Then suddenly, all Christians woke up. Christ's second warning. All Christians woke up. Christ opened the second seal. There was a fiery red horse. Its rider took peace from the earth and caused men to kill each other. He was given a great battle. This is recorded in Revelation 6, 4 and Jeremiah 51, 11 through 12. Christ's second warning. All Christians woke up. To the red horse and its rider, the second seal, horse and rider, is about Iran, and all Christians wake up at that war. The time of the end began on 9-11 in 2001. According to Daniel 12, 4 and 9, end time prophecy couldn't be completely understood until the words of the scroll were open. Since 9-11, the words of the scroll have been opened and a comprehensive study of the time of the end has been done and written in these books by Richard H. Perry. However, the only book I recommend is the Bible. All these books are available through Amazon.com.